guys, it's Jennifer here from My Purpley Life, and if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. I basically share how I decorate my planner for the week, and um, just in case you are new to my channel and you haven't seen my decoration videos before, here's a preview of last week's pages. So these are the pages that I created for my planner. I like to decorate them and make them all happy and pretty and it gives me motivation to use my planner. So that's pretty much how last week was. It was a macaroon theme. And in between my pages, I like to keep what's called a flyleaf, which is just a transparent sheet to keep some extra sticky notes or post-it notes if I need some extra writing space. So before we go ahead and get started, these are the pages that I use. I am currently in my medium size Kiki K time planner, which is discontinued, but it is similar to the personal size Filofax. And inside are some inserts which I printed myself from filofaxy.com. You can head on, head on over to their page and download these pages for yourself. Um, I use the week on two pages and I printed it on letter size paper and then trimmed it down and basically um, downloaded it on Word and just changed up the font to my liking. So that's what I use there. Now my theme for this coming week is going to be triangles. I um, wanted to do a little geometric theme, something I haven't really done in a while. Um, it's been um, summertime here, so I'm using a lot of summertime colors. So my inspiration um, are these washi tapes, which I got recently from Michael's Craft Stores. I usually get my washi tapes from there, but these are um, some really cute designs that I saw recently, and I really... Um, wanted to use these colors in my pages for the week. So to tie in these triangles here and this um, like turquoise teal color and some yellows and oranges, I've added some other washi tapes in my collection to tie it all together. I am also going to be using this striped orange, this looks like a kind of like a golden yellow to tie in with the yellow in the washi tape there and then again this turquoise teal color to tie in with this washi tape and then another orange color there and then the inks I will be stamping with these are my go-to inks they are the Versa Magic chalk inks chalk inks are great to use when stamping on your planner pages and I am going to be utilizing some Studio L2 e stamps. I have a few sets here that I'm going to be um, using and I'm going to share with you how I utilize them. And then again, I use my Fiskars stamp press and also a clear block like this because these stamps are made out of a clear material. They're not like your traditional rubber stamp, which is um, like this, which is on a wooden block and this rubber stamp is attached on there. So um, you'll see how that is used in just a bit. So before we go ahead and get started, go ahead and take out your planner pages from your actual planner. You do not want to decorate it while it is in the planner. You need it to be on a flat surface. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and open up your planner from the sides, remove the pages. Let's set this aside. And get started. So what I like to do is start with my washi tape. I'm gonna grab this washi tape here. Some other tools I will be using as well are some detailed cutting scissors and a Zacto knife or a paper trimmer. Let me just grab those before we get started. Now what I want to do here, I do not want to create any sort of pattern or anything. I just want to cut this in half because as you can see, it is a thick piece of tape. I can just lay this down if I wanted to, or I can cut it in half so that I don't block off any um, space up here. I'm actually going to go ahead and just lay this down 
I was thinking about cutting it, but I think I'll just leave it. Now I'm going to, let me zoom in here for you guys so you can see what I'm doing here. Now, instead of blocking this whole thing out, I am starting um, after this whole month so that I don't block the month. There are times when I do block off the entire thing just because I already know it is July and it's been July. Now when I go over here, I can follow the direction of the triangles or I can go in the opposite direction. I'm going to be a little fun with this and just go ahead and put this on the other direction. I'm just gonna cut a straight edge here. And I'm just going along the edge of the paper. So that's what that looks like. Now let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the page and put on the masking tape on the bottom. I'm going to take now this turquoise colored triangle washi tape and the same thing. I'm going to follow the edge of the paper here. Just like that and again I'm gonna cut actually I'll just leave that I'll flip this over so that it's easier for me to place that washi tape on the page just like that we can see how much of that washi tape takes up that much of that square so when I come to stamp over here I might not stamp too much since all that washi tape is in the way okay so now that is not what I wanted to do hmm okay you know I changed my mind I don't like these green triangles I'm going to change it up and the thing about washi tape, when you are taking, removing it, it's nice because it is a removable tape. At least most of them should be. So what I want to do is I want to just pull this off in an angle. See how that tape is going at an angle and just pulling that off slowly. I'm not just ripping it off. I'm actually going slowly and just pulling it off at an angle like that. Same thing on the other side. I'm just going to save that tape for later, but see how I'm creating sort of like this triangle motion and just putting, bringing it down and slowly peeling that tape off. I changed my mind and I am going to use that orange striped washi tape. I think I just forgot what my plan was. Okay, so let's go ahead back on the bottom here. And instead, what I'm going to do, instead of putting that whole piece of tape on there, I'm going to trim this so that it's not blocking off so much of the page. And how I do that is I take my paper trimmer. This is just a small paper trimmer that I have. I'm going to remove this tape here. It's just some extra tape that I had. Now I want to cut about this much tape so I'm just gonna eyeball that and then place this onto my cutter directly on there and I'm going to be creating two even pieces here you want to make sure that that tape is right in the center there and slice that so now you have your thin washi tape. Place one right here. And again on the other side. Okay, so now let's see how that looks like. Okay, 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit more decorative and I'm going to grab this Geometric Studio Borders L2E stamp. And I'm going to be using these tiny triangles right here. And it's going to look somewhat like this. So again, I'm just playing off that whole triangle theme. So I'm going to grab this. And again, these are clear stamps. So I'm just going to peel this off here. And then I'm going to take a stamping block. Now this one's a little bit longer for these types of stamps. And just going to place that directly onto the stamping block. And then press that down so it's on there evenly. And I'm going to grab my color. I'm going to do something a little bit more fun here. Let me take these out just for a second so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to mix my mango and my turquoise color. So I'm just going to stamp a little mango here and there. Then I'm going to take my turquoise. I'm going to stamp a little here and there. Okay, I think that looks good. Now I'm going to take my paper. Let's take my mat back on here. I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm going to stamp it along here. I'm just going to take that and just stamp that along the middle here. So it looks like that. Just something different I wanted to try. But that's what that looks like there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take a clean wipe here, clean that off. And again, just take my stamp and just my ink pad, I'm sorry, and just stamp it randomly. And then take my turquoise, stamp some right here, right there. Take the other side of my page. And just stamp. Just lightly press it down, make sure it's on there, and that should be it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and clean off my mat again. And we're going to continue with some more washi tape. Okay. You want to make sure you clean off your stamp right away too. To avoid any discoloration on your stamp since it is a clear material so just you can just use a, a baby wipe I have tons of that available since I have children and just simply wipe that off and then let it dry and make sure you put it back into the packaging. You want to keep it clear from any dirt or dust. Okay, so now what I want to do is take my thin washi tapes and I'm going to go ahead and um, sort of create blocks in between each of the days of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my yellow and then I'm going to go orange and then do that turquoise. Um, just rainbow color order. You can of course go ahead and do it any color. I just like to go in the colors in the order of the rainbow. That's just how I like to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and then follow the lines that are already here on the page. Just like so. Again, you want to be careful with the ink that you just stamped because it does take some time to dry.
Then I'm going to go in with that orange color. Same thing. Just follow the lines that are already on the paper. And then take my turquoise. Now that all of this is done, I'm going to take that Zacto knife or that paper trimmer and just trim off all the excess tape around the page instead of um, you can certainly if you don't have a paper trimmer take your scissors and then just cut what I like to do is flip the page over and then just find cut along the edge of the paper like this instead of trying to look through the tape which can be difficult to see the edge of the paper that's just um, a trick that I like to do you can certainly do it like this or what you can also do is take your paper trimmer and hopefully you have a um, cutting mat underneath you and then just go ahead and trim this off this way. And then I have some more on this side, just some little bits here. Just like so. So now you have your paper pretty much all set. Now what I can do here is just embellish it. I can either embellish it with some more washi tape. Again, now I'm gonna take that tape that I had earlier and just cut this in half. And I'm gonna create um, some patterns here. I'm gonna take this and just um, cut a banner. So I'm gonna take the edge here and then just cut off a triangle. This one's a little hard because it's rolling. Or I can just put it on here and do it that way. <laughs> I'm making this hard for myself. Sometimes I make it hard for myself and you guys notice that and you guys give me some tips. So I really appreciate that. Okay, so now that's there. I want to just place this hmm, maybe about right here. Just as a little like decorative thing, just like that. Maybe trim that off. And then maybe put another one right here. Again, I'll take that extra tape that I had left over and then just draw a triangle on the side here. And we have an instant banner and I'll put this maybe about, oh, I'll put this one up here. I'll make this one a little bit longer. Just like that. And then I'll trim this piece off. I have a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to up here because this is just 
for my notes and things. Sometimes I just like to put a quote up there. So I don't really need to utilize that space. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp my checklist. Again, I'd like to put a checklist towards the middle of my page and keep the edges for my events and um, appointments. So I am going to be using my Studio L2E Kawaii stamp set. I'm actually going to be using these dots here. There's already a lot going on on this page, as you can see with all the shapes and everything. So I really want to keep it simple. I don't want to put some dark lines on here. I can definitely use these, but I think that'll make the page look just way too decorated and too heavy. So I want to just use these um, lines right here, which are dotted and they're going to look like this because not everybody writes straight and sometimes I am one of those people and I just like to have lines on my paper. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take my Fiskars stamp press, which looks like this, and then lay my stamp on there. And the lines on the stamp press help me keep my stamp straight. And since it is a clear stamp, it's perfect because I can see exactly where I'm going to be stamping on my page. I am going to be stamping in my uh, Mango Madness colored chalk ink and simply just pressing that ink onto the stamp like so. And then flip this over. And let's find where we are going to stamp. I want it about right there. Scoop my fingers in and release. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just um, stamp this all over the page and you can follow me as I go along. I did want to stamp right here, but if I were to stamp it, this washi tape would be in the way. So what I'm going to have to do is sort of um, stamp, let's see here, I can only stamp about four lines. So I am just going to take my wipe, since I already stamped the ink on here, and just wipe off two lines. So hopefully that will take off any ink that is on the stamp. And then just go ahead and then just press this onto the page. Like so. So that way you're not stamping over any washi tape and you're not creating any smearing or anything up there. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and continue stamping along the rest of the page here. check boxes so I am going to take this stamp set here this is the planet stamp set from studio l2e and I'm going to be using these squares I don't exactly have triangles for <laughs> checklists but to keep with the whole geometric theme again, I'm just going to be stamping with some squares. So let's go ahead and remove those little tiny squares here. Now I'm going to take a smaller clear block, which is this one here. And then now it's on my block. I'm going to take now my turquoise gem and stamp my boxes in this color. 
Again, I like to be very colorful. You can just go ahead and use the same color, but I will be using a different color. And I'm going to be stamping these boxes in between the lines here, just like that. Again, I'm going to go ahead and go and finish up the rest of the page. I am up here so now I know I only need one two three boxes so I'm going to clean the bottom two down here with my baby wipe and then just stamp now the thing about using this is it's teardrop shape so I want to use the this edge of the ink pad and just tap that onto the block like so. I don't have to use this end of the ink pad. I want to use more of this pad to have more control of where I am exactly putting the ink on the stamp. So now that I have that, I can just stamp that like so. that's done I want to um, I usually put some sticky flags for my appointments and whatnot on the side here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little trick here and I'm going to take this orange um, sticky flags these are by post-it they come in lots of different colors like so. So what I'm going to do is create some of my own sticky flags. So let's go ahead and just remove these pages, let them dry for a little bit while we go ahead and make some little post-it flags. Studio Altui came out with this new stamp set. It is called the Label It stamp set and it looks like this. And what's great about this is that this can also fit into um, your Erin Condren planner or your um, plum paper planner. Um, those types of planners can utilize these types of stamps as well. It's not just for your Frank Franklin Covey or Kiki K or Filofax. You can also use these stamps in whatever planner that you use. So now I'm going to go ahead and just take stamp here and I want to use this one right here with the arrow just because again it has that triangle shape I'm gonna take that one and I'm going to again take my clear block here and just put that on there and what I'm going to do is take a black ink I have this really um, light chalk ink you can use any type of black ink I um, just can't reach it right now, but I do have some VersaFine um, ink that will work as well. But I'm just going to use this powder puff black ink and really make sure it's covered well on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this onto my little pad here. I can probably take this off of here and then stamp it on my block like this probably better but look how that fits perfectly onto my sticky note just like that and then I'm just gonna do another one and take my yellow one 
So this is great if you don't have any of those, you know, decorative sticky flags like these. You can simply make your own with this stamp set. And again, I want to do it on this side this time. And there you go. And then go ahead and take your planner pages. I don't want to smudge the ink on there, but what you can do is now I'm just going to trim off this edge here so that it's like a triangle again or an arrow. And then place that onto your paper like so. So that's really neat there. Um, again, these won't stay. So what you will ha probably have to do is um, grab your removable adhesive. I like to use my Tombow removable adhesive. Place a little bit of that on the back of this sticky note or sticky flag, I should say so that it sticks directly onto the page, just like that. And then again with this one, I'm going to trim this one off a little bit. Because it is pretty long. And then again, get my adhesive and just place that over here. So that's pretty much how my pages are going to look for this coming week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up and leave me a comment telling me if you like these pages or not and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Thank you.